Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is something I've been planning out for like the last three months and I finally get to do it right here at Christmas. I'm gonna be swapping out this 1995 coal powered piece of shit that literally almost burned my studio to dust and ash. For this improved PC that I hope I don't fuck up before I even get in the box. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right to it. First things first is we're gonna have to get this motherboard unpacked. Uh, we're gonna have to get most of all of this on there before we put it into the case. I got the NZXT NZC790. Fucking, that's a mouthful. It's a pretty good motherboard. It's for the New York CPUs. So, yeah. But they package it good. There it is. Gotta be extremely careful. I'm clumsy as fuck. All right, for my CPU, I went with the Intel i7 13700K. That's one of the newer 13 gen CPUs. So we're gonna see how good it actually is. All right, there's actually an arrow on here. So it's a guide for us idiots who don't know what we're doing or this is the first time. So I'm gonna drop it down in there. Make sure it's on like a glove. Drop the bracket. It's a little, there's a little tension there that's kind of, it's a little tough. I've heard it's intimidating, but we're just going to go for it. And there we go. CPU on. So now we are going to move on to these sticks of RAM. All right, now for the sticks of RAM, I got, I mean, they're just 32 gigabytes of DDR5. They're the Vengeance Corsair. So... Let's get these on there. I only got, I only went with two right now, but I'll probably end up adding more later. Go big or go home, I guess. So if you haven't noticed yet, I've went with mostly like a Corsair type build. I do have a couple NZXT parts, but I just like the way Corsair stuff looks. It's flashy and I wanted to go with something very nice, but has a lot of power too and does everything I want it to. This is also a very delicate part. Now we're going to get these on there. Mine go two and four, which is what I think most of them are. Well, let's make sure that we are putting these in correctly so I don't crush these things to dust. I also have very shaky trimmer-like hands, so I also bet this is making a lot of you nervous. There we go. Here's the first one. Now let's get the second one on. Those really take some force, dude, and it's really intimidating doing them at the same time. Okay, we're moving on to the SSD. I got a Samsung 2 terabyte 990 Pro. I think this is the last thing that we have to put on here uh, in order to put it in the actual case. So let's get this installed real quick. Let's remove some of these. These panels are actually magnetic. You can actually just slide them off, like pop them off. Look how easy it is. Look how easy this is. Oh my God. And just like that, they come right off. Okay, so now we're gonna install this. We're gonna put it in the top one here. All right, it goes upside down. Okay, now we just gotta put this little metal piece back on. Let's get this last screw on. And that should be the last thing that we have to add on the actual motherboard besides these panels before we can move it actually into the case. One step closer. And this actually won't be the last bit of storage I have. I actually have a Seagate Ironwolf 6 terabyte hard drive that we'll be installing later, but it won't be until later. So, okay, everything that needs to be put onto the motherboard before going into the box is done. Now I just gotta prep the CPU cooler. I went with a Corsair liquid cooled CPU uh, with an LCD screen, it, just to be fancy. I thought it would look cool inside this monster case that I got. So I'm actually gonna be bringing Jacob in on this one because this is a lot of moving parts. Get into it. Yeah. I'm here too, I've been watching from the side. I've been, <laughs> I was nervous as fuck watching him put in that rubber sticks. Hell yeah, that shit was, Scary as fuck. That shit was shaking and shit. Yeah, I was, I was fucking shaking. That shit, especially someone with shaky ass hands. Okay, so we got all this. This is the actual, the Commander Core. I think it's called the Commander Core Pro. You can actually plug in multiple fans. I got like an extra set that comes with three. It's just the SP120 RGB Elite. What do you got to do? You got to put the fans onto this radiator? Yeah. So you got to mount them onto the bottom it's gonna have a total of how many fans 
Comes with four already. You got three on the radiator. Ten. That's I'm gonna have ten total. <laughs> ten total. Dude, that, that, no that, issue over The here. AIO header on this bitch is huge. I guess because of the LCD yeah. screen, but. That looks dope. I think it'll look cool inside the white case. I went with an all white build if you can't tell yet. I just think it looks clean. It looks slick. So we'll be doing now, just screwing all these in. Yeah, now we just gotta screw all these fans onto the actual radiator. Yeah, I don't wanna screw this up. I don't either. We're going two screwdrivers. We're gonna have to tag team some of this because I. This is my first time. I definitely don't want to screw anything up, especially all these parts. God, I hate to have to buy again. This is like three months in the making. Of just like saving up. <sighs> yeah. All right, that should be it. Yeah, that should be all of them on there. Probably should move the case over here and we can start getting it ordered. Okay, for the case, I went with a NZXT H9 Flow. If you can't see, it's pr it's dual chambered, so it's, it's pretty huge. fucking huge, dude. It's, it's a big huge. ass mid tower. So we just gotta get this glass panel off and we're gonna start getting this motherboard into it. Motherboard is on. Sweet. Sturdy. Sturdy. Snug as a bug. Okay, so now is the fun part. We get to do the CPU cooler. CPU cooler. So I'm gonna turn this up right. Kind of scared to do that one. Yeah. Kind of nervous about it too. You want me to hold it while you do it? While yeah, you screw it? Yeah, you're gonna have to hold it while I screw that one. It's gonna be these. No, it's gotta be the small itty bitty ones. Probably a washer, washer, washer. Yeah, washer. yep, yep, yep. Put that on there. Let's we see. know, we know a little bit about. We know about a couple things. Washing, washing our ass. We know a couple things about washing our ass. Wish I could see this. <laughs> Let me get an extended. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I forgot the washer, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you were sitting there fumbling with the fucking washer oh. the whole time. You're like, okay. Dude, I have the shakiest hands knowing the fucking. I wish they make. I wish they would make the screws smaller too. <laughs> I wish they'd make them way fucking smaller. All right, it's in. That should be enough support for it just to stay up there. That's how it's looking inside. You gotta be bullshitting me. All, all the screws on there. This rack comes out. I can literally take the rack out. We can screw it in, and oh, it's already that's there that's now. Easy. And slowly move it close to the CPU. Start by tilting the pump towards the through, not using the same AI. Okay. Time to get the CPU AIO onto the motherboard. I don't want to fuck the thermal paste up, so I gotta be really careful right here because I don't have any. All right, let's get this LCD screen on here. Like a glove. Dude, it looks nice. Dude, it does look really nice. And then we take this. This goes into the CPU fan AIO pump. Clean so. That shit looks clean, don't it? Okay, now we got the CPU LCD screen on there. Uh, we got the cooler and the fans put on as well. So now the next step is going to be running some of the wires into the back of the case. We'll get to wire management later. Right now, I think what we're gonna do next is probably, probably the power supply. We'll probably power do supply. the power supply. So let's turn it up and then we'll flip it to the back. You see it right there, all white. Oof. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking really screen, good. Yeah. So now we're gonna install the power supply. This one's kind of hefty. I went with a thousand watts just because fuck it, why not? Plenty enough. Yeah, this shit should be plenty enough. So let's unbox this and start getting it in there. Oh yeah. Oh, it fits like a glove. Oh, Look at enough. it. Yeah. So I guess let's get it screwed into place and then we'll go from there. Was it these ones? Yeah. Shit, might as well help. Yeah, might as well throw one on there. Oh, we got such shaky hands though. So. I got par early onset Parkinson's. <laughs> I shouldn't even laugh. That shit sucks. <laughs> now that we got all the wiring and shit done, we're gonna be moving on to the money maker here, the graphics card. We're gonna bust this bitch out and we're gonna get it installed as well. Let's see what I'm waiting to see. Yeah, this right here is what I've been most excited about. There she is. There it is. It's like wrapped perfectly. This is all white too, so. 
Oh yeah, even the graphics card is white. Look at this. It look, how, white. look how That's beautiful. Clean. Now I just got to clip. This part is like the RAM. I have to clip it into the motherboard. Oh, the RAM was the hardest part. Yeah, that shit was scary. I think she clipped on there. It made a noise. I hope that's a good noise, not a fucking, a break. <laughs> yeah, I that was broken. Good. Yeah, it clipped. Yeah, it clipped on. Y'all take a look at that. That's without our cables in there yet. So this yeah. is the cleanest it's ever gonna get. From the front, the back. Yeah. Fuck, y'all don't even wanna see the back. Y'all don't wanna see this shit. It looks tough back there. Well, let's get the graphics card hooked up and I think that should be the last part. And then we should be able to move on to see if this bitch will actually run. Turn on. No! Shut up. Oh my god, it's coming on right there. No. No, 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 no. Woo! Okay, let's turn her off. Yeah, turn that on. Look her off. Okay, so now we've got everything plugged in. We've got everything wired up. We got it in here into the monitor. So we're going to test our luck, see if we got it on the first try. This is, if we get on the first try. Yeah, first try will be I, nuts. I actually had no clue what I was doing. Me neither. Literally, if you was to see the back of this thing, you would be like, there's no fucking way <laughs> yeah. it's going to work. So let's see. I got it plugged up to the monitor here. We're going to turn it on. We're going to hope to see something, some lights or something. Here we go. Oh, blue light. That's good. All the fans are on. Yeah, everything's coming on. Oh, we got no. our NZX2. There it is. Everything and there gone. it is. That's insane. That is actually insane for like a first, two first time builders. Absolutely surprised that this thing even turned on. That's insane. All white build. Cooler. Yep. The LCD or the LED screen. Yeah. It's sick. You can put what, you can literally put whatever you want on there. Customize it. Yeah. Everything runs through the IQ Commander Pro in the software so you can custom it's fully customizable i'm so excited literally haven't got to play any games because that shitty brick of a computer i had literally just was done it was just it was time for an upgrade and i'm so happy that we finally got to put this one together so if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one